Hello, today we'll be discussing what are the surgical methods for treating varicose veins? What should we, I be doing? What is the best method of treatment? Well, let me start with explaining what is happening in the field of vascular surgery over the last many years and what are the latest advances. Fundamentally, there are two ways of treating a vascular problem. When a vessel is blocked or vessel is not working or vessel should be removed, we can A, cut open the vessel and remove the vessel. And that is, those are procedures that are done from outside. And B, we can actually go into the vessel, go inside the vessel and solve the problem. And they're called endovascular procedures. Now, whatever we do by cutting open, those procedures have largely become old-fashioned and are barely used. There are a few exceptions like coronary bypass. Uh, there are also some exceptions like there's a very severe leg arterial blockage we do. Uh, do a procedure called uh, leg bypass as well but more often than not 90 to 95 percent of vascular surgical procedures have moved to endovascular first in fact if your doctor is not discussing the option of an endovascular procedure with you then he's not doing full justice to the treatment now endovascular procedures by nature are very easy to perform they do it through the vessel, so there's no cutting, no stitching, no anesthesia and the procedure is a daycare procedure and you can go home the same day. The same is the case with varicose veins. The open procedure, the old fashioned one I was talking about is where you cut open and do it. That was where we used to give a spinal anesthesia, we used to put stitches to the patient, we used to take forever to recover. Now we don't do all that. With a high quality scan, we, we use a scanning and through the scan we put a wire into your vein and we shut the vein down using laser which is a slightly older but a more steady procedure and a newer procedure called glue where we just do the same thing we go through the vein inside the vein and inject a small quantity of glue and seal the vessel because this is done through the vessel there is no cutting no stitching no anesthesia and you can go home and start working almost the same day and your recovery is almost instant. So remember these words, endovascular first, there's virtually no vascular surgical procedure that can be, that needs to be cut open these days. And if you have to cut open, it usually is done after much dis discussion and deliberation by a larger team. Almost all procedures are endovascular. In my experience, over 15,000 procedures, I have had never had to open up the varicose vein even once in my life to do a varicose veins laser. It is all done through endovascular procedures. So the procedure's name therefore will be endovascular, endovenous laser ablation, EVLA or EVLT. That's the procedure you should ask your doctor. You should check if your doctor has done thousands of these procedures and you should check the outcomes of your doctor, call some patients of his and find out before you get your surgery done.